In November 15, 2003, the El Camino Colts take on the South City Warriors in the infamous annual Bell Game. The Bell game is, uh, it's, a, it's a game between South San Francisco High School and El Camino High School. Uh, and it's been going on for like about 45 years. It's, it's the Bell game, it's, it's the rivalry, you, you gotta have a rivalry. And South City and El Camino has been rivalries since, I'd say what, I think it's the 60s or so. So it's basically just a game, you get the, um, the big bell, they kind of, do it up, change it up every couple years and stuff. You went to school with a lot of the guys that went to South San Francisco High School. Me personally, went to Parkway High, just down the street from South City. So bragging rights are huge. I told them they were taking the bell back because they wanted but we wanted more. So obviously we took them back as a team effort. So, 2003, welcome to the Bell Game. Started off, uh, we kicked off. And uh, I remember we kicked it to Danny Ho. He's a fast guy, fast guy. And he started right, and our guys missed him. But we had a couple hats on the ball, our guys missed him. And he started running left. Luckily, our contain man, Mark Flores, number 86, was there to give him the shoulder. Um, so that, that was big. We, we didn't give up a touchdown there. Well, in the first series, like the first series of the game, um, we was on defense, Oak Milo. Uh, I remember David Goff was just like fired up, stopping the run, then he stopping probably like three plays in a row. And um, I mean, it, was, it, was, it was just exciting. And I, I knew I knew since, the, um, since then, like it was, it was gonna be a pretty good game. I was pretty confident, especially the first driver on defense. It was, it was, it was script perfectly. Our defense stops South City, three and out. Then South City from the ball to high, Sam Holmes. Caught the punt, I ran it, and I hit something in the six, I trucked and like, like nasty. So first first drive on offense, I was I was juiced after seeing that and our defense playing well. So I remember we stepped on the stepped on the field during our huddle. And our fir our very first play was action 902. What that is is uh, we fake a run to the right and our two receivers just go deep. Right there, I knew it was going to be a good game. It was the first play of the game for us, and I already knew it was, it was going to be a pretty good game. The next play, hand it off to Miguel. Scrampers, get us some tough yards right there. I remember I was I was so juiced that I got up and I looked at their sideline, and I just like looked, at, I just stared, stared them down. It was it was a pretty hefty game, and uh, the next play, the very next play, our third play of the drive, uh, I think it was a trap left. And I, I remember following my lineman who pulled to the left. I think it was uh or 79. His name's uh, Stokes. I remember following him, and he pretty much escorted me into the end zone. And I was I was like untouched, and uh, dropped the ball, and we scored. And I, I was super juiced. Our, our sideline was juiced. Fans were yelling. Crowd went wild. We pretty much shut up their sideline. After the Colts' first score, the Colts kicked off to start the Warriors' second drive of the game. With positive yard gains by South City's number 34, Tanila Latu, the Warriors made it more difficult for El Camino to keep that leading gap they were trying to hold. South City had a good drive in the second drive, going down the field, pushing El Camino back. Number 34, then NMT, running back, choosing his thing, hitting. Part of the yard all the way down the field. He was the main person on the South City squad, but we didn't, couldn't stop him. And they scored a touchdown, and I was pretty upset. Then I came out, okay, they're ready to play. Momentum changed. Personally, I was I was angry. I felt as if uh, we were throwing this game away, and uh, we needed to capitalize big, or else we one more score would send us into yeah, a big hole, sure. bigger than we were already in, in my point of view. I thought South City came down the field third time. They scored a, a field goal, I believe, before that. When he scored that field goal, 
I was on the sideline thinking, I gotta score. I do something, I don't our team out, we gotta score. Second, second quarter. Kick the, kick the ball off to me. I ran down the field. That, some opening, good blocking. I ran, kept running. I was like, forward, I was going. And good blocking down the field, number 30, the whole team. Came down the field, little celebration. Yeah, then made a field goal. That was one of the biggest plays of the game because that changed the whole game around in my perspective because it put us back on top and it gave everybody a sense of, all right, we're here, we're ready to play. Yeah. And throughout the second quarter, the Colts were ready to play by stopping the Warriors' offense from scoring. The South City Warriors also maintained a stay in the game by stopping the Colts from reaching the end zone causing the Alcamino Colts to make punt after punt. It was much of a defensive game for both teams going into the half with the score of El Camino 14, South City 10. Coming into the third quarter, the Colts struggled offensively and defensively by instantly turning over the ball in the opening of the half. The Warriors immediately caught up by scoring a field goal Colts' next offensive drive was shut down, followed by the Warriors' touchdown, essentially putting the Warriors up 14 to 19. The Colts needed a big break. Eventually, the Colts received their opportunity. All right, so begin beginning the second half, it was pretty slow. Uh, we were exchanging scores. They kicked the field goal. Like two, we scored and stuff like that. But uh, the momentum changer, the big momentum changer in the game was when uh, our defensive end, number 90, uh, Jeff Ponce, Jeff Ponce, number 90, he, he forced a fumble on the quarterback, number 16, and our middle linebacker, number 99, Rafael Evandano, picked it up for the Pick yeah, recover the phone. The ball started bobbling really fast. It bounced, I say, two times, and I saw it, and I just, eyes were lit. I just picked it up. I was about to run back, but then I hit the ground, so play was dead. But after that, momentum was all EC. Little did the Colts knew that fumble was the turning point of the game. The Colts capitalized from then on. After that fumble, I feel like our role players, 30 and 1, had their motivation back from, from, uh, from, I don't know when, but one started playing like the player he's always played. Our quarterback, number one, Calvin Roberts, he, he did this razzle-dazzle play on the left. He, he ran left, he ran for like 20 yards, and he, I remember he got hit and he spun and tried to reach in the end zone with his right hand, but he was short like two yards. I believe the ball was like on the, like on the two yard line, and you know we needed to score. Um, I remember like I received a snap and I hopped over the line. I think, and at first I didn't make it. Then um, I think a couple plays later, it was like it was third down. It was it was pretty crucial. Like we we had we had to really you know get the touchdown. Um, I received a snap, got over the line, got a good crease, and actually got the touchdown. I mean that that was a big momentum swing right there. So, um, look to the sidelines, we had to go for two point conversion. So, um, I think it was, a, um, I think it was a 904 B shoot. And um, I just, you know, received a snap, came, rolled out to the corner and tossed it to, um, you know, David Goff, number 22. And we um, got the two point um, conversion successfully. So, um, I think that was a pretty big momentum swing right there. On the Warriors ninth drive, uh, number 34 had a couple good runs, but then the momentum changed right away when there was a huge hit, huge hit um, by number 22 on number 24. After that, there was a fumble and uh, number 30 recovered it and he took it back a little bit, like 10 yards. And we were, we got closer to where they wanted, where, where we wanted to be. But the defense just kept showing up, kept making plays, and that's what kept us in the game at this point. 
right there. I knew like momentum was back once again on our side. We get the ball going in and um, I think we call Miguel. He um, picks up some good yards and I, I think that play he, he, he scores. He has some pretty good blocks in front of him. And um, I see him just like, you know, just dive into the end zone right there. And it was, it was pretty exciting for me. I was, I, was, I was really happy for him. And um, we went to the, um, the extra point. The extra point was good. And all, like, all the momentum like we ever had was back on our side. Oh yeah, after that we kicked off and they were driving a little bit. And um, they elected to throw the ball, which they couldn't the whole game. They didn't have a good quarterback. And uh, I, I smashed the receiver, and the ball was up in the air, and I tried to look for it. The ball just pops up, and I was just basically right in my hands. I, I see it, I get it, I take like two steps, and I just like just slip down, I fall down, I get the interception. And number one, got an interception. And it was a really nice interception because it was only in the air for like one second, and he got it. It's just the right moment at the right time. I'm first and goal, I remember like I was just basically looking at the clock behind us, and I could just see it just like this rolling down, like you know, um, a minute, minute 30, minute 29, 28. And I just see it. And I'm just like, you know, like I can't, I can't wait till this is over because it's gonna be, it's gonna be pretty big for us. We were pretty much melting the clock down after a couple of runs by me and Calvin. Uh, I scored. It was on. It was it was on the left side, and after that, it's pretty much the end of the game. This one was special just because it's the Bell game, you know, it's more than a thousand people there, all of South, all of South San Francisco is there to watch that game. It's one of the, I read that it was like the second biggest rivalry in the Northern Peninsula, so so that's that explains how huge it is. This win was very special to us due to get the Bell back after so many years. We tried so hard to practice and friends and family. The energy was like no other, I mean, everybody was going crazy and I started break dancing. I think the win for El Camino, for us, um, was huge. I mean, the last game basically said it all. I mean, you win the last game, like, you don't really have to, like, think about all the losses. You, like, we had all that year. It was winning that Bell game it was so big for us. And, you know, it was, it was emotional for, you know, a couple players. Came El Camino Colt. I played all four years there. I don't regret anything. I had fun. It was fun while it lasted, and uh, I wish I could do it all over again. Don't see.